Now reviews are coming in for the Series 5 Apple Watch, the latest addition to hit the market. Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley joins us with his view on the newest product. And so, so what do you think? I keep telling people, buy it, according to Dan. Why? Uh, I think that this is, okay, buy it if you don't have a Series 4 already. Because if you do have a Series 4, then the updates to this are pretty incremental. I'm gonna pass it around, do a little bit of show and tell. That's one of the, the, uh, the faces, but there's a whole bunch of them in there. Uh, if you hold down, you can change them. Uh, the big difference on this versus the previous version of the Apple Watch is that this has an always-on display, and basically what that means is, uh, novel for a watch, I guess, you can see the time no matter what. So it will always show the time. You don't have to lift up your wrist or tap it. It'll forever show it. Uh, that doesn't, however, impact battery life. On other smart watches like those from Samsung, uh, you would see a decrease in battery life. Apple's, however, set up a new type of display that allows it to customize the refresh rate and uh, does all sorts of different power management. So you're still gonna get the same amount of battery power that you would out of this as you would the previous generation. Uh, I personally, you know, they say 18 hours, that's a load. It's way more than that. Okay. I go uh, about 15 hours with it and I still have 48% battery life. So, I mean, it's, it's a, a, a good amount of time. What percentage of Luddites are still wearing the $100 Fossil Watch, which only tells time and does absolutely nothing more? Time, right? And what percentage of the market, I mean, how much growth is there for these kinds of There's watches? There's still to? a lot of growth to go in, in the smartwatch and wearable market in general. Uh, you know, if you look at the, the industry, Apple is the, you know, 800 pound gorilla in the room and the leader uh, by leaps and bounds over the likes of Samsung, uh, Fitbit. I mean, they're trying to do the smartwatch game, but it's really kind of pivoting now. The Series 3, by the way, which is two generations behind this, is now just 199. So if you don't want to spend this three, the 399 or 429, depending on the size you get of the Apple Watch Series 5, you could still get an Apple Watch at 199. So it's really good. Outside of the always on display, though, they've added a compass, which is good if you're uh, an outdoorsy type. You can use it with the map feature in maps and kind of like see exactly where your orientation is. So if you pop out of a subway, you don't have to look around for like landmarks to see what direction you're heading in. And they also have a noise detector on there, which believe it or not, uh, measures the level of ambient noise and then will inform you if you're permanently damaging your hearing. So if you're at a concert, you're probably gonna get that. I was on uh, uh, the subway platform earlier and I was uh, reading the uh, measurements and it really did show that I was going to damage my hearing if I stayed there too long. So <laughs> no. it made me feel good. Well, just looking at Apple's business, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the June quarter results right now. Wearables are only about a tenth of sales. So do you see the Apple Watch, some of the forthcoming offerings, actually being able to pick up the slack for some of these incumbent hardware devices like the iPhone for this company? I think for for Apple, the, the wearables category is continuing to grow. You have the AirPods, which are, I mean, they're basically everywhere now, right? You have knockoffs of them all over the place. The Apple Watch is still gaining momentum. And at first, people kind of laughed at it and said, this isn't going to go anywhere for them, but it has. Uh, it will continue to do so. I think lowering the price to 199 is uh, for the three is a smart move. And really, what it comes down to is locking you into the ecosystem. Because if you get an Apple Watch and you get AirPods, you're not going to get rid of your iPhone because those two things become useless. So it's about locking you in, keeping you there, providing, you know, sending the, the different notifications from Apple to uh, your wrist, and then, hey, maybe you'll pick up a... Uh, <laughs> what did you just do? I'm okay. playing with the watch and I'm pinging oh, you're his paying phone. It. You can you're find to, phone. That's the locate that's your the phone ecosystem. feature. That's, yes, so that, that's actually saved me so many times. I mean, it's I... Where is my phone? Yes. Right, you could just ping it. That's really good. So, I mean, one question about the the Apple Watch though I have on me right now the Apple Series 1 I feel like it belongs Ooh, in the you gotta, you gotta, you gotta at this that point up, yeah. but for all the people that have Apple Watches already and I know that the Series 4 is not much of a difference from the Series 5 but what's the use case for getting the Series 5 if you're a user like me that's gotten the original Apple Watch from a few years ago it's really like night and day in terms of performance that's really uh, mine's pretty slow now yeah mine's this is getting worn out. you know just slap that bad boy on and you'll see that it really <laughs> is a lot faster in terms yeah. of performance. And the screen's That's bigger, I think. Is it yes, not? so the originals yeah. had, uh, I believe it was 38 and 40 millimeters. That's a wider, so that's a wider yeah, screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them right next to each other. That's the 44 millimeter. Right. Uh, there's also a 40 millimeter if you want a smaller one. Uh, I like the 44 just because it fits my wrist better and I like to be able to see a lot more content on the screen at once. Uh, but, you know, as far as going from the previous generations, from the, the three, the one, two, and three, it really is worth the upgrade for the screen size alone, for the performance increase, uh, the ability to measure your uh, 
uh, uh, heart rhythm to see if you have a sinus rhythm. There's fall detection. At the Series 4, they really kind of made the Apple Watch into a full-on health device. They have uh, uh, certifications uh, from the FDA. When, when you say fall protect, like the old, I help, I fall in and yes, I can't get up. Can 100%. you change the voice so that you get that one? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do that. It actually calls either emergency services or your emergency contacts. But you could save a ton of money because if, if you have elderly parents who have these devices, I'm telling you what the monthly charge is. That This will do it, no problem. And again, yeah. this one starts at how much? This starts at at $399 for the 40 millimeter, for the 44 millimeter, it's $429. So it's pricey, but it's not the $1,400. It, it, it's going to be a hot edition. Christmas gift. That's it what is. they're batting on. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, I would buy it for myself. Do you have to send that back or do you get to keep it? Eventually, I have to send it back. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. You hear that, Apple? He's going to send it back. I Van Halen. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to steal it, I promise. <laughs> Love the gadgets that you get to test, and uh, we're going to have much more to talk with you about tomorrow. Yes, yes. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.